Namaskar. Welcome back. Today uh, we are going to solve installment problem uh, on compound interest. And again, so what we have is here we have going to solve it. So we have here a rate. Sixteen percent per annum. So half yearly will be divided by two. Half yearly. So this will be eight percent half yearly. Cash price uh, cash down we have rupees two thousand. Now we'll find out the balance remain which is thirteen thousand. So let the amount of each installment be x and we have got two half yearly installment so and p1 comma p2 be the present value or present words for the first year and second year. So in short form we can write PWS. According to the formula PW equal to A by 1 plus R by 100 and we shall use the same formula to avoid confusion. Here P1 is the value for the first half year. Now we can cancel 4 to the 8 and 4 25 to 100. So we have now here X LCM. We are going to take 25. 25 1 to 25 plus 2 will retain the power or x by 25 plus 2 is 27 by 25 all to the power 1 by 27 all to the power 1 similarly p2 equal to x 25 by 27 all to the power 2 now P1 plus P2 is equal to the balance remain we are having here 13,000. Let us substitute the value of P1 is X 25 by 27 all equal 1 plus X 25 by 27 all the equal 2 is equal to 13,000. In this case, we took common x 25 by 27. So we are left with 1 plus 25 by 27 inside the bracket. So we'll simplify. So we are going to add 25 by 27. So it is 52 by 27 equal to 13,000 we will change the side first let us write 13,000 and the, the denominator which is in the left hand side shall go upside and the numerator which is to the left will go down
So 25 into 52 is 1300 10 times. So we are having here 10 into 27 into 27, which is equal to rupees 7290. Hence, the required installment is rupees 7290. Another problem, uh, the cash price of a car is rupees 70,000. Lucas agrees to pay 21,200 in cash followed by three equal annual installments three installment we have here if the dealer charges interest of 25 percent per annum compounded annually find the value of each installment in this case let us first of all uh, write the cash price of the car so cash price is 70,000 cash down is 21,000 now we have balance 48,800 so after that, we are going. We are going to find out the installment. So let us write. Uh, let the amount of each installment be x, and we have got three installment. So we will write three present words. So P1, P2, and P3 will be the present words. We shall find out P1 equal to a. We have x here. One plus rate. We have got twenty-five percent. So 25 by 100 and it is for the first installment it is 1. So 25 we can cancel it, 25 for the 100. So this equal to x. We have got LCM 4, 4 and the 4 plus 1, all this for 1. So which is equal to x by let us retain the power 5 by 4 or the power 1 which will be equal to x take a take the reciprocal of this so it will be 4 by 5 or the power 1 p2 will be x 4 by 5 all to the power 2 since we have P2, 2 and P3 will be x 4 by 5 all to the power 3. Now the sum of P1, P2 and P3 is the balance for the 8000. 800. Let us substitute the value of P1, P2, and P3. X 4 by 5. So within the bracket, we are having here 1 plus 4 by 5 plus, since out of 3, 1 will go out. So we are having here 4 square by 5 square. It's equal to 48800. So x will retain the same. Let us take the LCM. It is 25. The last one will be the LCM. In each case, if there are three installments, so 25, 1 to 25. In the second case, just multiply with this 4 and 5, 4, 5 to 20, plus 4 squared is 4, 4 to 16, equal to 4, after adding we got x, 4 by 5, 61 by 25, is equal to 4, 80, 0, 0. Now, we'll change side, x equal to, we have to write this one first, 4, 8, 8, 0, 0, into, part which is in the denominator will go up 5 into 25 so 
the part in the numerator in the left on left hand side will go down side 4 into 61 so it will be 200 time I will get the value of 25,000 Hence, the value of each installment is rupees 25,000.